Welcome back to InfoGround, your go-to source for the latest in hip-hop news and culture. Today, we're diving into the recent allegations surrounding Diddy's infamous freak-off parties and the surprising involvement of Tyrese Gibson. Rumors have been swirling about Tyrese's participation in these events, and he's finally breaking his silence. Stay tuned as we unpack the details and explore the implications of these revelations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things hip-hop. In recent weeks, Sean Diddy Combs has been at the center of serious allegations involving his so-called freak-off parties. These gatherings have been described as exclusive events with strict entry requirements, including non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, and specific weight criteria for female attendees. The controversy escalated when rumors emerged suggesting that actor and singer Tyrese Gibson was featured in footage from these parties. Addressing these claims, Tyrese took to social media to set the record straight. He acknowledged attending some of Diddy's parties, describing them as legendary and expressing no regrets about his participation. However, he firmly denied the existence of any incriminating footage involving him, stating, there is no such thing as a Diddy tape, literally. Tyrese emphasized that while he enjoyed the events, he was not involved in any activities that would warrant such allegations. The broader context of these rumors includes Diddy's current legal troubles. The music mogul is facing charges related to alleged sex trafficking and racketeering, with a trial expected to commence in May of next year. Reports have surfaced about tapes from these freak-off parties being shopped around Hollywood, adding fuel to the ongoing controversy. Attorney Ariel Mitchell Kidd mentioned being approached with an offer to purchase one such tape, which allegedly features a celebrity even more high-profile than Diddy, though no names were disclosed. Please check this out. There is no such thing as a Diddy tape. <laughs> Literally. So allegedly, whatever that brother is dealing with, whatever reasons he's in jail, whatever the FBI and the law is dealing with allegedly pertaining to Diddy. I want to tell y'all that I've been to some of the most legendary parties. I got no regrets. But I think some of the best parties in LA, and if you're from LA and you've been to these parties, uh, you would know that Diddy always had the most legendary parties that were always star-studded. The biggest and biggest and most legendary stars, white, black, Latino, Asian, billionaires, fashion, you name it, Diddy, hands down, from the Hamptons all the way to LA, all the way to his legendary New Year's parties that he would do uh, in Miami. Um, I got plenty of photos, uh, proudly like every other celebrity and star that went to his party. Anybody who's not on the internet talking about a Diddy party, you should be more concerned about them, <laughs> allegedly, about what they did or what, what they on tape doing. I There is no such thing, allegedly, as a Tyrese Diddy tape. That is a bunch of Donald Trump niggas in my comments trying to discourage me from speaking up and speaking out. Tyrese's public denial aims to distance himself from the scandal and clarify his stance amid the swirling rumors. He expressed concern over individuals attempting to discourage him from speaking out, attributing the allegations to those trying to tarnish his reputation. As the situation develops, both fans and the media are closely monitoring the unfolding events, eager to see how these allegations will impact the careers and public perceptions of those involved. So, what are your thoughts on Tyrese's response to these allegations? Do you believe his denial, or do you think there's more to the story? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to InfoGround, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest hip-hop news. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.